Hello, this is Alyssa with Patriot Marketing, and I reached out to you earlier today, and I promised this brief video, so here it is. Um, and I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I just wanted to show you a few tips and tricks that you could use to really maximize your traffic online. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first of all, there are a few things that I did really like about your guys' website. Um, it's very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Um, I like this click to call button here. Free estimates are great. Uh, all, and I like how you can do click, click here to call and also click here to call. Um, all of those help with uh, converting people over as clients. Now, something I noticed that there really wasn't a whole lot of content on the website. Um, so that would be my first tip with that. And content is literally anything that I can highlight, whether it be pictures or text. In this case, I'd be talking about the text because I feel like your pictures are on par. Um, but with the text, I, I feel like you could have a little bit more content there. Um, so the reason why you would want a lot uh, of content would because you would want to rank for a lot of different keywords. Um, hold on. Give me one second. I did something wrong. Give me a second. This is what we wanted to do. Okay, sorry. Got to see a little bit of my research there. Uh, this is the what I wanted to use, though. Um, so epoxy flooring. So you want to rank for a lot of different uh, keywords. For example, the service in your area. There's a lot of volume to be had here for 130 is uh, searched, there's a search volume of 130 for your area and the uh, field of service that you are in. Um, this one in particular has 100 search volume per month. So there's a lot of volume to be had that you're not getting um, because you don't have those keywords within your content and it's really imp important to um, really put yourself in a position to be found. So if I were you, I'd actually um, add more content with those keywords and also even go so far as uh, saving these pictures as those keywords and then re-uploading it to the website so it would count as content towards your website and you'd be getting found for that keyword as well. So it's really a good way, I'm not wanting to say that, okay, um, really a good way to sneak, sneakily put those uh, keywords in there without anyone noticing, but um, yeah. Yeah, just uh, basically uh, having more content with those keywords in there because when Google, it's really important because when when, you, when Google crawls your site, they not only see that you have the the content, but you also have those keyword keywords, the the keyword verbatim within your content, and it it really allows you to rank faster and more efficiently. Um, content is also really great for ranking as well because uh, Google feels that the more content you have, the more likely you are to be an expert in your field. Um, at the end of the day, their whole goal is that when someone searches, they get the information that they need. And so, long story short, the more content you have, uh, the more likely you are to be found because Google wants to ensure that people are searching on their, who are searching on their platform gets that information quickly and efficiently. So that would lead me to my next suggestion, and that would be to build upon this Google Business Profile. Um, <clears throat> it would be really uh, giving yourself a chance to get as much traffic as possible. And what I mean by that is when people search for any given keyword, um, there's a lot of different ways in which people can convert over as clients. Now, um, I'm going to go to the next tab over here. Because uh, the first two that I'm going to talk about don't show up when I use these particular keywords and I tried with some of the other ones that I searched and the uh, first two ways that people can convert over as clients are not even shown here when I do that. So we're going to go here. Not even the field that you're working in and not the area you are working in. It's just to show you what they look like. Um, the first way that people can convert over as clients is with the local ads. And these, um, they capture the people that click on the very first thing that you see because they're at the top. Um, you can also adjust the Google Ads to capture people's attention. And the local ads people like a lot because they are guaranteed by Google, as you can see, up to a certain dollar amount. So if something goes wrong or something happens, they trust that people 
not people, that Google will uh, make it right monetarily. Um, it would be great for you as well because they convert at a very high rate. Um, you see, it shows the amount of years that you have been in business and it has the company's number right there so that they can call. And a lot of times when somebody's already taking the time out of their day to call you, they're more likely to convert over as a client of yours. Um, so the Google ads uh, themselves are a lot lower in conversion. They are located just under the local ads. Um, yeah, they convert over as a, they have a lot lower of a conversion rate, but uh, you can also be seen by a lot of people and they are a lot cheaper. Um, and I'm going to go back over to this next tab here because the rest of what I'm going to talk about for your Google business profile is listed on here. So um, with this particular keyword, the next thing I'm going to talk about is this Google map pack here. So um, with that, with the Google map pack, uh, the people who search this way, they want to see a company that is local and in the area. It can pull up to 80% of the traffic that people search. So if we're using this particular keyword um, and we have a keyword, for example, has a search volume of 100, if you're looking at 80, going straight to that competition right there, these top three people. So it's really important to actually uh, be in that top three Google map pack. Um, another way that uh, people can convert over uh, or you can gain more traffic to your website would be ranking organically. So with that said, uh, the people who rank higher in Google are generally going to pull more traffic than the people who are ranking lower in Google. Um, that uh, And people actually don't ever really go to the second page of Google here. So it's really important to make sure that you're ranking high enough to be on that first page. Otherwise, you're going to not pull very, if at all, any at all, not very much traffic, like maybe one or two. Um, so you really want to be on that first page of Google. Um, so uh, all of these are great ways in which, uh, you know, people search and it's all different ways that it can pull traffic. They're all important and have their perks. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to actually expand more on uh, ranking organically on how you would do that. Um, so in order to rank organically, you would actually need to build up the strength of your website. And I'm going to actually pull you up in this one thing that I have, this tool that shows where you're at in your online presence. So um, how you would build up the strength of your website would be to add uh, referring domains and backlinks. So unfortunately with backlinks, not all backlinks are created equal. So you want the high quality uh, backlinks, not the poor quality ones, because those poor quality ones aren't going to do anything for you. Um, as for the uh, referring domains, a referring domain is basically when someone is uh, blogging and they are blogging about the services that you did for them and uh, they have a link back to your website. That would count as a referring domain. All referring domains are, pow are considered power. So um, the more power you have, the higher these numbers are going to be. And you generally want a one-to-one -one ratio, uh, and we want to see uh, contractors or just epoxy flooring uh, people in the 20s, 30s range. You are in the 20s range, but you're not at a one-to-one -one ratio. You generally do want a, as high of a number as possible, but um, yeah, so this is where you are at. You have 406 backlinks, 134 referring domains, ranking for 880 organic keywords and gaining an organic traffic of 311. So not that bad. But let's take a look at one of your competitors. Um, so we have Poxy LA. Um, they seem to be number one. I chose them because they are organically ranking at the number one area. So you definitely want to, uh, uh, yeah, the, we can see, let's see what we can do to where they're at. So they are in the 30s range. They're a little bit higher than you. They are not at a one-to-one -one ratio, but they have 2.5 thousand backlinks, have 308 referring domains. I want to take a look at your referring domains, but yeah, they have do they have, do have more on you there, um, and are ranking for 436 keywords. Uh, you are ranking for 880 keywords. However, they are actually. Um, 
they are generating 214 traffic. It looks like you are hitting more traffic than them. However, they are number one. Um, and uh, it's $541 per click. Uh, so you're doing pretty good for organic keywords and organic traffic, it looks like. But we also want you to be number one so you can get that much more. Um, yeah, so you are doing a little bit better than them for that. But they are ranking, they have more backlinks, probably not as good quality backlinks as you do, but um, they do have more referring domains and that's probably where that power is coming from and that's why your number their numbers are greater here and that's probably why they're number one um in the google search uh here when they're ranking number one um so yeah it's definitely something to think about um my tips would be to add more uh content to your guys's website with those keywords um because you really want to be found for a lot of different, more, a lot more keywords and actually be number one, especially if you're getting that much traffic. Um, these are some of the keywords that they are ranking for um, and, and stuff. It uh, looks like your guys' or what you're ranking for, you're ranking for a lot of like stone, shine, uh, countertop ceiling and stuff. So uh, that's good. So. But also maybe including some of those epoxy keywords in there as well. So that way you can start ranking for those it would be great as well. There's a lot of different things you can do to really bump up your, um, bump yourself up in Google. Um, I hope it has been, this has been helpful and informative. Um, so if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, I would love to chat with you and help you out in any way that I can. Either my husband or I would love to get in touch with you in whatever way, whatever time fits for you. So with that, you have a great day and God bless.